Namaste, everyone. Uh, the problem is, in the given circuit, using Kirchhoff's law, uh, calculate the power consumed by resistance 4 ohm. 4 ohm is here. If you want to find out the power consumed by 4 ohm, you must know what is the current flowing through the 4 ohm. Uh, so, uh, we have to find out I1 plus I2, this one. So, everything is given in the problem, all the directions of currents, resistances, everything. So, let us apply Kirchhoff's law. Uh, from loop to loop. Now, let me choose the first loop, uh, this one. I will choose this loop. So, applying KVL to the loop, applying KVL to the loop, uh, I will choose, uh, uh, I will choose the direction of current as it is uh, mentioned here. Same direction I will choose. So, I will start from B, A, uh, DCB, BA, DCB. So, I will move like this in the same direction what I have indicated here. B, A, D, C, B. That's better. So, when I go from B to A, there is no, uh, there is no, there is current, but there is no resistance. But I, when, when I move from uh, A to uh, D, I get R, this one. I get R. So, the current is I1 plus I2. So, I1 plus I2 is in my direction into 4 ohm IR because I am moving like this and the current is also in the same direction. So, I1 plus I2 into 4 ohm. When I move from D to C, there is no uh, resistance. When I move from C to B, I get the current uh, is I1. This is the current which is flowing from D to A. So, in this direction, the current flowing is only I1. I1 is the current flowing in that uh, path. So, uh, I can write when I move from C to B, I can write uh, I1 into 2 ohm, so plus 2 I1, because I1 is in my direction. And when I reach here, I know that uh, I get the negative of the battery, so minus 12 volt, nothing else. So, starting from here, no resistor, here I1 plus I2 into 4 ohm, then coming like this, like this, here current is I1, I1 into 2 ohm, then minus 12 volt is equal to 0. So, if I replace this equation, here I get 4 I1, 4 into I1, or I will write it, I will replace it, 4 I1 plus 4 I2 is equal to, uh, sorry, plus 2 I1 is equal to 12. And uh, 4 I1 plus 2 I1 is 6 I1 plus 4 I2 is equal to 12. I think I can divide it by 2, 3i1 plus 2i2 is equal to 6, equation 1. So, one equation I got. Next, I will apply the Kirchhoff's rule to the other mesh. The other mesh is, uh, um, I'll choose the other mesh. I will move in the same direction as the current flow. That becomes easier. So, I will move like this, like this, like this like this, like this, like this. So, applying KVL2, applying KVL2, the mesh, uh, A, D, E, uh, A, D, F, E, A, A, D, F, E, A. So, what do you like it? From A to D, I have the current I1 plus I2 in the same direction as I move. Uh, into resistance 4 ohm. So, 4 into I1 plus I2. Then, uh, when I move from D to F, there is no resistor. When I move like this, there is a 6 volt battery with minus, I will get plus. Uh, in the beginning, in the beginning itself, as I move, I get minus. So, minus 6 volt. Then, as I move here, there is nothing. And uh, so, equal to 0. So, only 2. Uh, 1 is IR product, that is I1 plus I2 into 4 ohm. Then uh, this uh, minus 6 volt here. So that implies 4 I1 plus 4 I2, 4 I1 uh, plus 4 I2 uh, is equal to 6. 4 I1 plus 4 I2 is equal to 6. So I can reduce this as 2 I1. I divide it throughout by 2 is equal to 3. So this is equation 2. So, I think there is nothing to multiply and add. So, you solve these equations because you have 2i2 common in both. So, let us subtract it. So, I will write 1 minus 2. Equation 1 minus 
equation 2 gives 3 i 1 minus 2 i 1 i 1 3 i 1 minus 2 i 1 that is i 1 2 i 2 minus 2 i 2 is 0 is equal to 6 minus 3 that is 3. So i 1 is equal to 3 amperes we have got. Now substitute i 1 equal 3 ampere in any one of the equations. Second equation I will use. Put i 1 is equal to 3 amperes in equation 2. Put I1 is equal to 3 amperes in 2. What you will get? Uh, 2 into 3. Here I am using this equation. 2 into 3 plus 2I2 two is equal to 3. So, what does uh, this give? 2I2. Two two, this is 6. 2I2 uh, two is equal to 3 minus 6. Because this will be 6. So, I2 is equal to 3 minus 6 is uh, minus 3, minus 3 by 2. So, this is minus 1.5 amperes. So, what is the power consumed in the resistor 4 ohm? Because we have got I1 and I2. They are asking what is the power consumed. Power is I squared R. So, power consumed in the resistor 4 ohm is I square R which is nothing but I1 plus I2, because current flowing through that is I1 plus I2, whole square R, because I is I1 plus I2, this one, R, power consumed in the 4 ohm resistor, is I1 plus I2 is, I1 is 3, minus 1.5, square 4, that implies P is equal to, 3 minus 1.5 is uh, 1.5, 1.5 whole square is 15 square, that is 2.25. 15 square is 225, 2.25 into 4, power is, this is uh, 2 and a quarter, 4 times. Uh, so, it becomes uh, 9 watt, yes. 9 watt is the answer. So, that's how it is. Simply KBL, apply KBL to both the loops, you will get the answer. Simple problem. Thank you.